Why am I out here? That's a great question to ask. So I'm asking myself that same question. It's been raining all day. In fact, it's kind of been raining non-stop. It's kind of like a shower right now, but it rained a lot today. And uh, usually when it rains means that uh, a lot of people put their stuff out tomorrow. Or they don't put out anything large. But regardless, we're out here for another garbage picking slash trash picking episode. I had a lot of people also say, why do I call it garbage picking when sometimes I call it trash picking? And it's not actually garbage picking, it's trash picking. Well, over 950 episodes on YouTube, you kind of run out of ways to say things. So let's find some treasure and uh, see what happens today. Trash picking, garbage picking, let's do it. Nice little seesaw on their yard. Oh no, just step on. Oh, you don't want to drive over that. That would be a rough day for someone. saying wow because I can smell something and it's very strong. Sometimes you just get a little whiff, sometimes it almost knocks you over. Yeah, there it is, all right. Gotta make sure the screw's still there. Don't wanna accidentally, don't wanna accidentally screw myself. Let's see if I can get this out without making too much of a mess. This is a clothes dryer. Not an antenna. I actually found a photo of my uh, my house from like I'd like to say the 60s. But it might be it might be the 70s. And man, was my house in a lot better shape. Nice flowers, freshly painted, brand new roof, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, but I have this antenna on top of my house that looks ancient. And in the photo, <laughs> that antenna was there. And I'm just like, I looked at it today, I'm like, that looks like it's in pretty rough shape and I have no purpose for that. I should probably get it taken down at some point before it falls down. It's like bolted on into my soffits as I point up there, like I'm pointing at something. It's pointed, it's bolted into my soffits and my soffits are like starting to rot away. So I'm just waiting for the day where a nice strong gust of wind just knocks it right off. Both, both the soffits as well as the uh, antenna. It's for old television, I guess. This thing closed. Ah, oh, screw it, this guy thought I'd steal my van. Ah, oh, there it is. To actually think about on the right over. Nice. Was, uh, that was uh, that that was a lot going on at once there. Um, person's picking weeds at this time. I mean, not the time; it's the more like the rain. Doesn't show up too well on camera, but it's raining uh, pretty substantially for what it is. Um, I was thinking on the way over here that probably like two weeks ago. I told that guy I would be back for his home or his, uh, I don't know what he said, home workout thing. What, 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 what did he call it? He said something. What's going on down there? I'll have to circle the block, but the homeowner just came out. 
But um, on the way over, I was like, oh, snap. That guy definitely said he was throwing away his home workout equipment next week and the following week. Well, the next week, I actually went to a storage off or not a storage off. I went to a state auction, and uh, I missed it. So I missed trash picking that day because we had an auction to go to. And uh, I was just hoping he would have it out this week. And well, guess what? He did. So he was right. I don't know if he threw out the rest, the, you know, the previous week or, or what. But I kind of felt bad because I said I would take it. And then I realized just today that I just wasn't around last week. So it all worked out in the end, I guess. All right. Done a lot of driving around so far. Haven't found much. I actually had a plastic bag. Hit me in the back of my leg while I was driving. So I have all those plastic bags from um, from the flea market. And let me tell you, it scared me pretty good. Because if you know, you know. If you don't know, well, where have you been the last two months? But yeah. Something I picked up. Maybe it's that fan. Oh, I hope I don't get pulled over. That's all. Could be that fan. They use it like an exhaust fan. But yeah, the plastic bag scared me pretty good. It uh, it kind of felt more like a, a dog kind of brushing up against you rather than a snake. But um, I don't think I'll ever live that down. I've probably talked about it I don't know how many times. How sad. Two somewhat nice chairs. That's subjective. Out in the trash. Gone. I wonder who thought the name. Oh. Who thought the name Fornado? Because that... That fan says Bornado on it. And I can't tell you how many fans I've picked up in my life that have said Bornado. Did I leave that door? Oh. Now closed. I don't know what it is with today and these fans. Somebody just opened the door and went right back in. Very intimidating. Now the house to my left. They opened up the door, they saw me, and then they closed the door and went right back inside. It's actually staring at me right now through the window. Or through the door. Man, that is one nice piece of furniture up there. Kind of want, you know, we'll go up there and document. I wanted to show off this couch that was... Well, I nah, can't do it. I don't even know if this is a nice piece of furniture. It's one of those corner cabinets. Uh, I can't tell. It's more like... Uh, it's not too bad. I've never ever picked those up. Oh, wow, look at all this stuff. Got that smell of vinegar again, just... There's more stuff down there. It's all like broken furniture. It's like this is all broken debris. It's like somebody busted out this corner building. I wanted to get a photo from my Instagram on this. I thought it was a couch, but it might be chairs. says Mom Christmas. Just a bin. Kind of snicker because this used to say free. No, it can still say free. I don't know who's going to pick it up now. Take the bin. Kind of shame Mom Christmas has no Christmas in here. Yeah. 
They even take a photo for my Instagram. Wow. Talk about paying attention there. Uh, I can't tell if it's vintage or new. That uh, that chair slash couch. It kind of has vintage vibes to it, but it has new characteristics, which kind of makes me think it's a reproduction. Let's go over here and grab this. I did uh, I did dry my gloves from the last trash picking episode. In fact, I dried all my gloves. I feel like I'm leaking water all over me. Yeah, I did a... I, I guess a load in the dryer of nothing but just drying stuff. Dried, I don't know how many pairs of socks. All my gloves, there's like five pairs of gloves. I think yesterday I bought one pair on eBay. Today I bought another three pairs on eBay of gloves. I'm trying to stock up here. And the gloves that the gloves I like, they're like getting harder and harder to find because I guess the company probably doesn't make them much. There's only like 11 listings on eBay for them. Just, I just like them. They fit well once they're broken in. And they're heavy duty, but not so heavy duty that you end up sweating. It's overall a good quality product. All right, another muggy episode wrapped up in the books. Getting closer and closer to 1,000 episodes. I mention it probably once a week. This is my mention. Um, I actually didn't know if I was even going to go out tonight. Uh, it's the... Uh, the uh, elements really get to me at some points and uh it's almost like i don't know if people are going to have anything out if they are going to is there going to be a lot out is anyone else going to be trash picking um obviously with the rain uh it's kind of tough to really do your chores and like we saw off that couch or that chair it really didn't survive the weather um in fact now i think about that corner cabinet probably won't survive the night um i have some furniture from recent storage units and just having it out for one week and the rain we've had over the last three to four days, um, the wood is literally peeling and curling. So it's very important if you have anything good to kind of keep it inside. Don't even put it out on your porch. Don't, I, I don't, water and wood furniture just does not mix. Um, these pieces were going to be thrown in the landfill and I haven't made a trip to the landfill. Uh, so I've been kind of putting out like one piece a week in my own garbage for their bulk pickup. Uh, one item a week so that is why I have all of them kind of just spread out in the driveway but um yeah I guess it was a fan day fan appreciation day on the channel this I believe is all aluminum but it has so much of this like wire stuff which is I don't know if I want to clip off all that if it's really worth my time I brought something in the other day which I don't I can't remember if I put in what the heck that oh aluminum cans I've always said aluminum cans are never worth it. So for the past five months, I've been saving more aluminum cans just because whenever I have like a seltzer or whatever, um, I just throw the can into the bag rather than just throw in recyclables. So I brought in an entire bag of aluminum cans I've been hoarding for the last five months. I got $2. Exactly. Um, <laughs> the guy at the scrapyard even, he asked me, he's like, do you even bring in aluminum cans? I'm like, no, I usually bring them in like twice a year. He's like, yeah, I thought it wasn't much if that. And he's like, Huh. Well, you got $2 here. I'm like, that's exactly why I don't bring them in. So just sometimes separating metal and saving metal, just it's more e it's just easier to just throw it on the big pile, as they always say. But um, it's been fun. Thanks for tagging along. It's been another great adventure, a wet adventure, a rainy one. If you guys enjoyed it, as always, hit the like button. It helps me out, helps grow the channel. And if you want to see more, subscribe down below. Check out my trash picking playlist for more fun things we found in the trash. Catch you guys next time for next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.